Uh, following up with a message yesterday and Paul's uh, never ceasing mission to share Jesus Christ using every opportunity, every platform he was given. Another example I want to share with you this morning is from Acts chapter 21, uh, verses 30 and 32. Seizing Paul, they dragged him from the temple, and immediately the gates were shut. They were trying to kill him. When the rioters saw the commander and his soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Uh, just as we uh, talked about uh, yesterday, we knew that when Paul made it to Jerusalem, uh, they were going to get him. And here they are. Uh, they got him. And they were about to kill him, except uh, some Roman soldiers showed up. Uh, you know, Ben Franklin's wisdom uh, often brings a smile. Uh, you probably have heard his observation uh, that says, uh, Guests like fish, begin to smell after three days. Well, Paul's visit to Jerusalem started off well. His companion, uh, Luke, records in uh, Acts 21, 17, <clears throat> the brothers and sisters received us warmly. Well, Paul made it past three days, but on day seven, things got ugly. What happened was Jews from Asia stirred up the Jerusalem Jews by shouting that Paul was against their people. That's all it took. Uh, the crowd turned into a mob and they seized Paul and they tried to kill him. Now, when the rioters calmed down at the sight of the Roman soldiers, uh, Paul asked to speak to the crowd and the Roman commander gave him permission. And so Paul began to speak. Uh, when they heard him speak in their Aramaic tongue, they became very quiet. And then Paul said, this is Acts 22, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus, but brought up in this city. I studied under Gamaliel. This was the most famous rabbi, uh, most revered rabbi of that century. Uh, Paul was a student, a disciple of, of the rabbi. Uh, Paul says, I was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. I was just as zealous for God as any of you are today. I persecuted the followers of this way to their death. Uh, the people of the way, of course, were uh, what the Christians were called at the beginning. They seized Paul. But once again, Paul seized this moment. He seized this opportunity. Every single chance he got, and he goes on to share uh, the gospel, that God had sent Jesus while we crucified him. God raised him from the dead. And Jesus is the savior of the world. And all who put their trust in him have forgiveness and have eternal life. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> what great news. Take advantage of every opportunity, every platform, to share the good news of Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day and this new week, and we pray that our eyes would be open and observant and uh, looking for those opportunities, those platforms that you give us to share the love of Jesus in our words and in our actions. Help us, Lord, in his name. Amen. All right. Happy Easter. Have a great week.